The news headlines tell us that when we don't attend a health appointment we've booked and don't cancel to make it free for someone else, this can cause problems. These problems could be not only for ourselves and others, but also for our already squeezed NHS services. So why do people not get to their appointment? There are lots of reasons. They might get stuck in traffic, or even be nervous of bad news. Surveys show that often people simply forget. So what can be done about this? Some studies have shown that text or phone reminders can help a little. Some health centres have taken a more drastic approach. Patients are told that they might be fined or even discharged if they miss an appointment. This can be seen as uncaring by patients and may end up with people becoming more unwell, increasing the need for urgent care services. In many clinics and surgeries, notices are put up in waiting rooms pointing out the number of missed appointments to try to make patients take this more seriously. These don't always work and can be off-putting. Recent behavioural psychology research has suggested two strategies which might work better without risking negative effects. These are social norms and active commitments. Firstly, the idea of social norms is that people tend to follow what they think most people do. Notices which show that most patients in the surgery keep their appointments or cancel in good time highlight the social norm of people doing the right thing. This is a very different way of phrasing the facts. Secondly, the more actively involved we are in making a commitment, the more likely we are to keep it. Active commitments involve staff inviting patients to write down or repeat back their appointment when they book it. Two studies have trained staff to try these out in GP surgeries in the UK and both found that they had a big impact, reducing missed appointments by up to 33% a month compared to previous months. One shorter term study in 2012 suggested it was definitely the strategies that helped, since when the old ones were swapped back in for a month, missed appointments went back up. Our own study in 2017 focused on the longer term effectiveness and found that the strategies need to be used by staff consistently over time to keep up the benefits. Overall then, two small, easy to use and positive strategies from psychology seem to have a big impact on the problem of missed appointments. What if this could be scaled up? We think this has exciting potential for other areas of healthcare. If you like this video and think it might help ease the squeeze in your health service, why not like it and share it to help spread the word? Our study was a collaboration between a patient and GP surgery in the West Midlands and the University of Manchester. My name is Eleanor Bull and I'm a health psychologist at the university.